Okay, so what we need to do now in this last part is work out the kinetic energy lost by the ball in the impact. And to do this, what we need to do is work out the kinetic energy before impact and then subtract the kinetic energy after impact. Remembering that kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So you're going to need to work out the speed before impact, the magnitude of this vector. And uh, also the magnitude of this vector actually as well. So if you feel you've got an idea now how to do this, just pause the video, come back in a moment and I'll run through the work solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So uh, let's see how you got on. Well, as I said earlier, we need to work out that kinetic energy lost by looking at the kinetic energy before impact, we'll just say Ke before, and then minus the Ke after impact. Now, we know that kinetic energy is equal to a half mv squared, and we need to get what the speed is in each of these cases. Now to get the speed here, all we need to do, let's call it v, apply Pythagoras' theorem, it's going to be the square root then of the sum of the squares, these two components. So 10 squared plus 24 squared. And that works out to be exactly 26. Okay, if you were to scale this down, it's basically the 5, 12, 13 triangle. And uh, I've halved those two values, so you could scale it back up by 2 and get double 13, which is 26. 26 meters per second then. So when it comes to the kinetic energy loss, then we've got to look at the kinetic energy before, which is going to be a half the mass, 0 0.5, multiplied by v squared which will be 26 squared and then minus the kinetic energy after half the mass 0 0.5 times the speed after well it was 20 so it's going to be 20 squared and uh, if you do that it comes out at 69 and don't forget the units for kinetic energy here would be joules. 69 joules then of energy is lost. Okay, hope that's given you an idea then, or if you did try it, hope you got it right. Okay.